greetings uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I greet all South Africans, everyone around the country, around the world. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I welcome you for those who just tune in. Um, the person who's talking in front now is uh, Pastor Ngomani. Um, um, I'm the uh, pastor at the church called uh, AFM WW Worship and Wait, which is Apostolic Faith Mission. And under the pastor called J and Alma Tebula. Uh, my theme of the day today is His power will carry you through the battle. Amen. Uh, Amen. Before I can go further, I would like to take a short prayer so that God can lead me in this uh, session that I'll be taking. Um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you, God, humble myself, because I know that you are God, and there's nothing is too hard for you, God. Father, increase, and I decrease, God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give me strength, Lord. Give me power, God. Anoint, Father God, my tongue. Let me dish up, Father God, what your people want to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but I'm binding any distraction, any disturbance, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I'm praying, God, right now, allowing the Holy Spirit to take control. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Uh, my main focus, I'll be focusing on the two verses. But um, I'll be... Taking, taking different verses, but my main focus is two books. Like the books of uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, and the book of uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And I'd like to firstly to start with the book of um, Matthew. I'll read it for you, don't worry. You can, wherever it's ready to uh, uh, read it, you can read it where you are. But I'll be reading it for you. Uh, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 15, it reads as follows. Every plant which my father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up, answers the Lord. So, this book, it says, anything that was not planted by God in this world, is ready to uproot it. It's ready to take it by root. You know, when you uproot something, you take it from the stem, you take it from the down root, the root that is distributing, that is taking water from a uh, different uh, direction and then transport it to the branches and the, and, the, and the leaves. So that is the main root. So now what I'm trying to say here is that God is ready to uproot this sickness, this disease that is affecting the world. Hallelujah. He's ready to uproot it. He's ready to destroy it. Because I believe and I'm sure that this COVID-19 was not planted by God. He mm -hmm. won't plant something that will affect his people. Hallelujah. Amen. This thing is not, it's, it's affecting the whole country. So God is promising us, is promising us in the book of uh, uh, Matthew 15 verse 18 that you're going to uproot it. But when we don't know, because he's saying that his power will carry you through the battle. Amen. The power of the God is going to carry us until this uh, COVID-19 uh, COVID finish. Hallelujah. That Amen. was the title of my message. My message. So, when you're going through, when you're going through during this, uh, the hardest uh, part of your life, God carried you through. Saving God can come from letting him 
giving you strength when you need it. Most by uh, simple uh, putting him, uh, uh, putting his faith, uh, putting your faith in him. That can make you to go through this uh, COVID-19. That make you to, 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 be, uh, uh, to have strength. Okay, let me take you a little bit uh, uh, to, to um, disciples. When Jesus Christ, before he descend, before he, uh, before he, 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 he depart, I mean, I mean to say, before he depart, he gathered his disciples. Why was he gathering them? He was gathering them so that he can prepare them. Prepare them in terms of anything that can come. Because he knew that a lot of things will come in this world. Because no one will defend them because he won't be available. No one will encourage them. So he wanted them to carry his power. He wanted to carry his wisdom that he had when he was here on earth. When he was busy teaching them all over the country. I'm saying that it is written in the book of uh, John. John 14, verse 12. It's saying, I'm telling you the truth. He was telling them the truth. Mm. Those who believe in me will able to carry through this COVID-19. Mm. Will able to fight and defeat this COVID-19. It's only the people who have faith in God will able to carry this COVID-19 and fight and win the battle. Amen. Because this battle is not a, a physical battle that you said, no, I want a COVID-19 to come in, in front of me, then I, I, I box it. Or uh, doesn't need someone who's having the power like my Tessin. It needs a spiritual power. It needs someone who can preach and then who can pray, who can read the Bible. Because the Bible is our weapon. Amen. The prayer is our weapon. Because this thing is not physical, Bazalan. Amen. It's something that uh, something that you you you, you it, it's something that you can see through the microscope. So something that you can so see through microscope, we don't fight it. We pray for it. Amen. We fight it by prayer. That's the only way that you can defeat it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you pray, you allow God to give you strength until this thing finish. Mm. I believe this COVID-19, it have defeated a lot of people who, 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 who have dreams, who have visions, who have passion in their jobs. Because a lot of us, we are staying in ho at home now because of this COVID-19. We are no longer uh, 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 pursuing our dreams. We are no longer pursuing our jobs because of this COVID-19. But God promised us that is going to uproot it. Amen. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we read at the book of Acts, chapter 1, it says, But when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will be filled with the power. Which power is this? This is the power that can allow you to fight this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's the only power. So when, when you are at home, wherever you are, just allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. Mm -hmm. This Holy Spirit is the only power that can give you strength, that can give you energy to face this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, that was uh, Acts chapter, uh, chapter 1 verse 8. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. As a mm -hmm. Allow the Holy Spirit to fill you wherever you are. I pray and say, Holy Spirit, fill me so that I can be able to fight, so that I can be able to have strength, so that I can be able to stay at home, and then I, I become patient with, the, with, with this thing until to the end of it, because mm. it's about to finish. Mm. I don't know, but when, we don't know, but mm. it can only, uh, uh, it's going to be given, uh, 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 it can only be uh, God who knows, but God will give, you, uh, give us strength to face this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, without not wasting the time, uh, wasting time as well. Let me go through deeper and then uh, uh, tell you about what God has given me, uh, what me to tell you on, the, on this message. He said to me, He knew that, as I've said, He knew that the challenges and the sickness and the diseases will come. 
as I've said from the beginning, the sickness is this COVID-19. Mm -hmm. This COVID-19, Mazalwan, it needs people who serve God with purpose. Mm -hmm. The people who need, who, who never been shaken by any situation, who never been shaken by COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. I understand that most of us, Mazalwan, we feel that no, I never, I ne we, we never, I was expecting that no, um, soon I'll, 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 I'll smell, um, I'll smell my joy. Soon I'll, I'll be having my joy. But this COVID-19 out of the blue just came. But your joy is still coming, Bazola. I promise that because God, he promised that you will going to approve this thing. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He's going to defeat it. For us, and and, and 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 I show you that. Do not fear, because you are not alone. You never walk alone in this situation. In this situation, God is with you, and He will carry you. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Let me assure you, because it is written at the book of um, at the book of Joel. The book of Joel talking about the. Um, uh, 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 um, Okay, before I can elaborate and go through it, let me just read it for you so that you can understand when I elaborate it. In the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 25. I will repay you for the years that COVID-19 have eaten your fruits of your plants. Just believe in your heart that the joy will be relocating Will, will be relocating wherever the joy is and come to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the joy will find you as a man. That is uh, uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 25. It says, he's going, God, God, will go, go, God is going to repay you this year. Do not worry. In other words, do not worry what's going to happen after this COVID 19. He's going to repay you. He's going to pay you double Amen. for what. The COVID-19 have eaten. COVID-19 have eaten a lot of salaries of many people, a lot of businesses of many people, a lot of joy, a lot of peace. Mm. Saying it all, Pazolin, is not good. I'm telling you, it's not good. Everyone is crying about saying we've never been over until we pray for it, until we come together and we pray. Hallelujah. And when you pray, God will give you strength and you will be able to pay you for the year that COVID-19 has eaten your plan, has eaten your joy, has eaten your peace, has eaten your money, has eaten your salary, has eaten uh, your time. Some, some of us, we we were supposed to be promoted, but we cannot be promoted because this COVID-19 has eaten it. Mm. We're, supposed to be, uh, we're supposed to be running our business smoothly. We're supposed to, to be signing contracts with, the, uh, with businesses, but this COVID-19 has stopped. But I assure you mm -hmm. today that God is going to repay you. Amen. God is going to repay you, is going to carry you until this thing finish. Mm -hmm. And when you pay you, you, you remember God, when God, when, when, when he pays you, he doesn't pay you like... Uh, 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 like a uh, 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 human person's mind, he pay you with the devil because he's God, and he said, "There's nothing is impossible with me. There's nothing is too hard." That is uh, um, Mark chapter ten, verse twenty-seven. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. I go, I go forward, because uh, because he promised that no, this COVID nineteen is going to uh, affect us, and then we have to be able to pray and then ask God to give us strength. Another, another verse that is giving me strength, this is the verse that the, um, the book of um, Proverbs 23, verse 18. I can read it for you. I'm about to finish. It reads as follows. There's surely a future hope for you. Mm -hmm. This COVID-19 will never stall your dream. It will never stop your plans of 2020. Hallelujah. Amen. What I know is my God doesn't check your race before he can answer your prayers. Yes. Hallelujah. It Amen. is written, it's in the Bible, and I'll read it for you. It doesn't check you are black or white, but what he promised that Noel, I will cover you, I will carry you. 
This is the book of Jeremiah. Was book mm -hmm. of Jeremiah chapter 23, chapter 32, verse 23. It says, I am the Lord, the Lord of the whole human race. Mm -hmm. When you say that I'm God of the human race, he said, now well, for me, even though I'm black, and then you can, you can, you can be someone there, the white people, is with you. Any, any, any race, Father Man, he doesn't shake any race, the race that Noel, because Noel uh, is for white people, then you know, we're not, you know, I'm not going to answer them. It's when, when are you black, then I'm not going to answer you. He said, I'm, I'm the Lord, the God of the whole human race. And then he ends saying that nothing is too hard for me. Mm. Mm. That's when he ends. It means when you promise something, he's the God that fulfills. Amen. He promised and, and then after he complete. At the book, at the book of Proverbs, this COVID-19 have come and distract us. Your future is still bright. Mm -hmm. We're still having some month going to December. So those months going towards December, there's still hope for you. There's still hope for your future. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God is with us and then he will carry us. And this COVID-19. Thank you, Wasaran. That was the message for the day. I pray that wherever you are, God can relocate you with the fruits that COVID-19 has stolen. Mm -hmm. As you've said, that is going to give you uh, uh, is going to give you everything from the year that COVID-19 have eaten. The fruits of COVID-19 that the devil has eaten. This is the devil, Rosalind. You cannot say that no, it is not a devil. I mean, I compare COVID-19 with the devil. I compare the COVID-19 with the with the demon spirit. Mm -hmm. And then to mm -hmm. end this thing, Rosalind, is to come together and then we pray. It's only prayer that can defeat this thing because it's not physical, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. That was the end of my prayer. And then uh, what I wanted to uh, tell you then, continue as a learning, and then you stay at home, and then you pray, you wash your hands, you sanitize, mm. and then you help your kids that are not able to sanitize, help them, and then you, you, you tell them how to sanitize your hands, and then when you go out, put mask, so that you cannot affect the people when you come back home. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the message of what I uh, for the day. We're still going to give you message some other time because the journey is still long. We don't know this when it's going to end, but God is with us. He will carry us as he promised. Mm. Thank you very much. Let, um, let me pray. Uh, just want to, I feel like I have to pray um, so that God can give us strength so that God can give us power staying indoors. Let's close our eyes and then pray. Heavenly Master God, yes, your people, God, I pray because I know that it is written at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29, that God, you are a consuming fire. I pray that God consume this thing of COVID-19 with their ancestors, with everything that he had in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm speaking power. Father God, give us strength so that we can stay indoors in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.